Hannes Olaf Gosta Alfven Swedish Alvn the 30th of May 1908 to the 2nd of April 1995 was a Swedish electrical engineer plasma physicist and winner of the 1970 Nobel Prize in Physics for his work on magnetohydrodynamics MHD He described the class of MHD waves now known as Alfven waves He was originally trained as an electrical power engineer and later moved to research and teaching in the fields of plasma physics and electrical engineering Alfven made many contributions to plasma physics, including theories describing the behavior of aurorae, the Van Allen radiation belts, the effect of magnetic storms on the Earth's magnetic field, the terrestrial magnetosphere, and the dynamics of plasmas in the Milky Way galaxy. Education <inaudible> 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 Alfven received his Ph.D. from the University of Uppsala in 1934. His thesis was titled, Investigations of High Frequency Electromagnetic Waves. <laughs> Early years In 1934, Alfven taught physics at both the University of Uppsala and the Nobel Institute for Physics later renamed the Mann Siegbahn Institute of Physics in Stockholm, Sweden. In 1940, he became professor of electromagnetic theory and electrical measurements at the Royal Institute of Technology in Stockholm. In 1945, he acquired the non-appointed position of Chair of Electronics. His title was changed to Chair of Plasma Physics in 1963. From 1954 to 1955, Alfven was a Fulbright Scholar at the University of Maryland, College Park. In 1967, after leaving Sweden and spending time in the Soviet Union, he moved to the United States. Alfven worked in the Departments of Electrical Engineering at both the University of California, San Diego and the University of Southern California. Later years. In 1991, Alfven retired as Professor of Electrical Engineering at the University of California, San Diego and Professor of Plasma Physics at the Royal Institute of Technology in Stockholm. Alfven spent his later adult life alternating between California and Sweden. He died at the age of 86. Research In 1937, Alfven argued that if plasma pervaded the universe, it could then carry electric currents capable of generating a galactic magnetic field. After winning the Nobel Prize for his works in magnetohydrodynamics, he emphasized that In order to understand the phenomena in a certain plasma region, it is necessary to map not only the magnetic but also the electric field and the electric currents. Space is filled with a network of currents which transfer energy and momentum over large or very large distances. The currents often pinch to filamentary or surface currents. The latter are likely to give space, as also interstellar and intergalactic space, a cellular structure. His theoretical work on field-aligned electric currents in the aurora based on earlier work by Christian Birkeland was confirmed in 1967, these currents now being known as Birkeland currents. Alfin's work was disputed for many years by the senior scientist in space physics, the British mathematician and geophysicist Sidney Chapman. Alfin's disagreements with Chapman stemmed in large part from trouble with the peer review system. Alfin rarely benefited from the acceptance generally afforded senior scientists in scientific journals. He once submitted a paper on the theory of magnetic storms and auroras to the American journal Terrestrial Magnetism and Atmospheric Electricity only to have his paper rejected on the ground that it did not agree with the theoretical calculations of conventional physics of the time. He was regarded as a person with unorthodox opinions in the field by many physicists, R. H. Stewart noting that he remained an embittered outsider, winning little respect from other scientists even after he received the Nobel Prize and was often forced to publish his papers in obscure journals. Alfin recalled, When I describe plasma phenomena according to this formalism most referees do not understand what I say and turn down my papers. With the referee system which rules U.S. science today, this means that my papers are rarely accepted by the leading U.S. journals. Alfin played a central role in the development of plasma physics, charged particle beams, interplanetary medium, Magnetospheric physics Magnetohydrodynamics 
Solar phenomena investigation, such as the solar wind. Aurorae science in 1939, Alfven proposed the theory of magnetic storms and auroras and the theory of plasma dynamics in the Earth's magnetosphere. This was the paper rejected by the U.S. journal Terrestrial Magnetism and Atmospheric Electricity. Applications of Alfven's research in space science include Van Allen radiation belt theory Reduction of the Earth's magnetic field during magnetic storms Magnetosphere protective plasma covering the Earth Formation of comet tails Formation of the solar system Dynamics of plasmas in the galaxy Physical cosmology Alfvin's views followed those of the founder of magnetospheric physics, Christian Birkeland. At the end of the 19th century, Birkeland proposed backed by extensive data that electric currents flowing down along the Earth's magnetic fields into the atmosphere caused the aurora and polar magnetic disturbances. Areas of technology benefiting from Alfvin's contributions include Particle accelerators Controlled thermonuclear fusion Hypersonic flight Rocket propulsion Reentry braking of space vehicles contributions to astrophysics Galactic magnetic field 1937 Identified nonthermal synchrotron radiation from astronomical sources 1950 Alfvin waves low frequency hydromagnetic plasma oscillations are named in his honor Many of his theories about the solar system were verified as late as the 1980s through external measurements of cometary and planetary magnetospheres but Alfin himself noted that astrophysical textbooks poorly represented known plasma phenomena. A study of how a number of the most used textbooks in astrophysics treat important concepts such as double layers, critical velocity, pinch effects, and circuits is made. It is found that students using these textbooks remain essentially ignorant of even the existence of these concepts, despite the fact that some of them have been well known for half a century e.g., Double Layers, Langmuir, 1929, Pinch Effect, Bennett, 1934. Alfvin reported that of 17 of the most used textbooks on astrophysics, none mentioned the pinch effect, none mentioned critical ionization velocity, only two mentioned circuits, and three mentioned double layers. Alfvin believed the problem with the Big Bang was that astrophysicists tried to extrapolate the origin of the universe from mathematical theories developed on the blackboard, rather than starting from known observable phenomena. He also considered the Big Bang to be a myth devised to explain creation. Alfvin and colleagues proposed the Alfvin-Klein model as an alternative cosmological theory to both the Big Bang and steady-state theory cosmologies. Personal life Alfvin had a good sense of humor, and he participated in a variety of social issues and worldwide disarmament movements. He had a long-standing distrust of computers. Alfvin studied the history of science, oriental philosophy, and religion. On his religious views, Alvin was irreligious and critical of religion. He spoke Swedish, English, German, French, and Russian, and some Spanish and Chinese. He expressed great concern about the difficulties of permanent high level radioactive waste management. Alfvin was also interested in problems in cosmology and all aspects of auroral physics, and used Schroeder's well known book on aurora, Das Phänomen des Polarlichts. Letters of Alfvin, Treder, and Schroeder were published on the occasion of Treder's 70th birthday. The relationships between Hans Jurgen Treder, Hannes Alfvin, and Wilfred Schroeder were discussed in detail by Schroeder in his publications. Alfvin was married for 67 years to his wife Kirsten They raised five children, one boy and four girls. His son became a physician, while one daughter became a writer and another a lawyer in Sweden. The composer Hugo Alfvin was Hannes Alfvin's uncle. <laughs> <laughs> Awards and honours The Hannes Alfvin Prize, awarded annually by the European Physical Society for Outstanding Contributions in Plasma Physics, is named after him. The asteroid 1778 Alfvin is named in his honor. <laughs> <laughs> Awards Alfvin was one of the few scientists who was a foreign member of both the United States and Soviet Academies of Sciences. Topic. Selected bibliography 
For full list of publications see Books Articles Topic References Topic External Links Hannes Alfven Biography Hannes Alfven at the Nobel Foundation, Inc. Biography, Nobel Lecture and Banquet Speech Hannes Alfven Biography Royal Institute of Technology in Stockholm, Sweden Hannes Alfven Biographical Memoirs Proceedings of the American Philosophical Society Papers of Hannes Olaf Gosta Alfven Hannes Alfven Medal, awarded for outstanding scientific contributions towards the understanding of plasma processes in the solar system and other cosmical plasma environments. Timeline of Nobel Prize winners, Hannes Olaf Gosta Alfven Hannes Alfven Papers in the Mandeville Special Collections Library. Weistein, Eric Wolfgang ed. Alfven, Hannes Science World. QJRAS Obituary 37 1996 259. Hannes Alfven Birth Centennial 30 May 2008. 2008.